Hello, YouTube. Look how messy this uh, table is. Why is it messy? I've been working on stuff. I had hard drives fail the past couple of days, and uh, I decided to make projects out of them. They were starting to get bad sectors, and things were files were corrupting themselves, and it was just bleh. So, you saw the one project before, which is the Ghetto SSD the array of flash drives inside of a hard drive's case with the USB cable. Well, there was another hard drive that failed, and that's this one here. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen those hard drive speaker videos online. Well, I have, and I decided to make one. And here it is. A hard drive speaker. I decided to remove the platters because, because that would create a lot of unwanted noise and would allow for better sound. Now I couldn't, again, with this one I could not remove the motor because the screws are incredibly tiny. But the motor doesn't seem to do anything to affect the sound. Now, basically what I had to do was I had to, this is a strong ass magnet right here. I had to pry that off and uh, get under there and take the actual actuator out. As an example, I'll use the actuator from the other drive. This is the actuator of the drive. These both these drives were exactly the same. So, you take an act. This is the actuator, which has the actual heads, which read the hard drive on it. And as you can see, they're a little bit. Uh, let me focus it on that thing. They're a little scuffed up and stuff. So, yeah. As you can see here, there's a coil, a uh, right here, and that is what produces sound. Now you look there. Now you look here and there are two little solder connections. Those you can that is where the audio source goes. For example, like what I have on this one is bare wire. On here you would want to either solder to here or solder to the ribbon cable that connects to it depending on how old your drive is. These drives were fairly recent. They were SATA drives and uh I had originally soldered to there but it had issues, so I decided to make that into a flash hard drive instead. The flash drive hard drive. But yeah, basically you hook up your audio source to either these or those. Some place that connects with the coil, basically. And that's how this thing will produce sound. Now when you hit the bass up high, it this thing moves around quite a bit. And you'll see that a bit later. Now, what I've also done is, if you look in some hard drives, you'll see little pillow type things here and here some of the time. There's one right there. I've stuffed one right there to help dampen noise a little bit. And I've also stuffed one in there to help dampen more noise because, you know, these little things rattle. And I've also, uh, I've also stuck them down under this magnet uh, around the actuator so that it actually, so that it doesn't go to the park position because when it goes to the park position, all the sound resonates to the little lock that's on there. So what you want to do is get the pillows so it kind of, the little pillow things in there so it secures the actuator in place just enough so that it doesn't hit either side of the lock. Because in this particular hard drive, the lock is made of plastic, and plastic does not sound pleasant with noise. So, yes. As you can see, I have uh, soldered connections into there, and I have it going out where the uh, SATA control would be going for the actuator. And I've wired them out of the screw holes on the side. So it's kind of a nice effect. I can have it standing like this or have it stood upright, and it will play music. Now, these hard drive speakers sound like absolute crap, but that's not the point. The point is that this is a fun little project that, uh, you know, it's just kind of entertaining. It's like, hey, I can make a speaker out of a whole hard drive. How cool is that? Now, what I've used here is standard cheapo Radio Shack speaker wire. You know, just this this stuff. And we will go upstairs, and I will show you this drive in action. All right, I have the hard drive upstairs now with the stereo. Now, essentially what you want to do is get a stereo, not, head, not an MP3 player or a Walkman CD player, anything portable. You want something that can really generate power. Now this this particular stereo is about 10 years old and does not generate a whole lot of power. It uh, the impedance of the speaker connections is about 4 ohms. 
So basically you want to be able to connect bare wire into the back and that's the kind of thing you want. So I've connected it to the left channel. And I'll move the hard drive over here. And we will turn this on. Whoops, radio. As you may or may not be able to hear, there is audio. Put it right to the microphone, you'll be able to hear it. Now it's very faint, so I'll turn the volume up a whole lot. Now you can really see it taking effect. And it sort of resonates through the floor. Basically all the bass goes right to the case. Forty is as high as it will go. When you hold it, the bass gets very. So let me turn off the bait, mega bass thing. So as you can see, it is possible to use a hard drive actuator and the coil that drives it as a speaker. Now the ideal thing would be to get something to be a diaphragm and attach it to the uh, actuator in some way. For example, like a cup or a soda can or maybe even something like uh, the top of a garbage can, a plastic top of a garbage can. And uh, what I want to try to do is, you know that when you go uh, to, to certain water dispensers, they have those cups that are like uh, almost like an ice cream cone with just the point on the bottom? I want to get one of those cups and try to get it in here. If I can find the pointed bottom cups someplace, I might try that. But that is uh, just a little demonstration there. You can get uh, hard drive actuators to act as speakers. It's just a, it's just a fun little project if you... Uh, have some time on your hands one day, make a hard drive speaker. It's a conversation piece, at least a geeky conversation piece. It's a, it's just a way to uh, entertain yourself, at least for me it is. I just wanted to try it to see how it worked. And uh, 
to me, I was fascinated by it, the fact that you can use the coil, the fact that it's a coil. It made total sense, and all that sort of thing. And uh, to think these drives were working just fine like three days ago. <laughs> well, I wanted to show you that, guys, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.